Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to discuss about the new Windows 11 archive formats that are starting to roll out beginning with the build 23493, the latest build from the dev channel. As we've talked in a previous video, Microsoft has announced that they are very soon implementing more formats to the default archiving tool in Windows 11, the File Explorer. And this could mean the end of WinRAR because a lot of users, I think, will choose to use the default archiving tool in Windows 11 rather than installing a third party app. But of course, more info in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So as Microsoft announced at the build conference back in May, latest build from the dev channel adds native support for reading additional archive file formats using the lab archive open source project. And some of the supported formats are tar, tar gz, tar bz2, tar zst, tar xz, tgz, tbz2, tzst, txz, rar 7zip and more. So I think this is great news. We will no longer need to have a third party or having tool to be able to extract certain archive formats. And as you can see on my desktop, I have three different archives. I have a rar archive, 7zip and also a tar one. I'm just going to go and right click and then click on properties on each of them. So you can see that they are .rar. The second one is .7zip and the third one is .tar or .tar. So you can now open these archives as default using File Explorer, of course. Of course, you can extract them. And I think this is very nice. And this should be very useful for a lot of users. Now, one thing that I think a lot of users are expecting from Microsoft is the ability to compress into an archive and choose the format. Because right now, if you right click on a file, you have the compress to zip file option. But hopefully in the near future, Microsoft will also add options to compress to different archive formats. And there are also some known needs issues related to this new addition in the latest build from the dev channel, Microsoft is stating that copying files out of a large archive or using extract all might be slower than expected for solid 7-zip or .rar archives. And also in some cases, the context menu background in File Explorer may appear transparent, also related to the File Explorer in this build. But overall, I think this is great. I'm very happy that Microsoft has finally introduced native support for 7-zip, RAR, and other formats, also Linux archive formats and so on. This is great. And also I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below. As I've told you in the previous video that I've made about this, this is the updated video in which I officially tell you that Microsoft has finally implemented this in the dev channel. And of course, maybe later this year with the version 23 H2, we could see this on the main release. Why not? This would be great. If you want to learn more info about this, you can always check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.